Hi everyone, welcome to the Internet Storyteller, where we tell the latest, greatest, and sometimes most horrific stories of the internet. Today we've got some additional petty revenge stories. And if you like these stories, I always include a link to the description, a link to the story in the description below. And please feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. The very first story for the day is entitled Rude Old Woman Thinks She Can Insult Me Behind My Back. <laughs> okay. A few years back, I worked at a garden center in a town with a pretty large population of Italian immigrants. I don't look particularly Italian myself, but I am, and my Italian is passable. I was mainly a cashier, and to be honest, I really enjoyed doing it. The clientele was significantly nicer than at a grocery store I previously worked at and I enjoyed having the occasional chat about plants with people. Because this was a mainly Italian area, I did deal with a lot of older Italian people whose English wasn't very good. Most of the time, they would make an effort to speak English. I would do my best in Italian and everything would work out well. One day, however, I was at the till cashing out an elderly woman and her adult daughter. The woman was trying to haggle with me about the prices, obviously not something I can change as a cashier, and she was generally complaining about things that are far beyond my control. I was polite and courteous, and eventually the old woman gave up, realizing she wouldn't get any freebies from me. And then the tirade began. To her daughter, who seemed more mortified and kept telling her to stop in hushed tones, she began insulting me in Italian. This went on throughout the entirety of the transaction, and I pretended to be oblivious to it, even though on the inside I was fuming. Finally, the woman pays while telling her daughter she thought I was going to shortchange her, takes her bags, and I, as I hand her the receipt, I tell her in a cheerful tone in Italian, Have a nice day! The old woman looked absolutely horrified and basically ran out of the store as quickly as she could. Her daughter laughed and gave me a big smile as she left. I saw the old woman a few more times after that, and every other time I saw her, she was always very polite. <laughs> okay, so... So, you know, I guess the, the old woman does have some decency in the sense that, you know, if you call her out and she knows that you understand, she won't insult you in front of your face, I guess. Okay. Um, the second story for the day is also from Petty Revenge. And this title, this story is entitled, Take My Block? Have Fun With A Dead Phone. I'm on mobile and also long-time lurker. Finally got a story of my own. My brother has recently come home from college just to stay for a couple of weeks and sort some things out. While this is great and all, I've realized our relationship is a lot better when we don't live in the same house. He's only three years older than me, so we bicker quite a lot with him thinking he's superior and much more mature than I am that he should get what he wants because he was born first, yada, yada, yada. He's not always a, a jerk about it, just more annoying, but today he really pissed me off. Q Wednesday morning, I woke up to my phone only on 30%. Confused, I looked at the outlet and someone had taken my charging block. My parents don't really use their phones that much and often forget to charge them so I knew they wouldn't care enough to come into my room and steal it. So the next suspect, my brother. I went into his room to see his phone plugged in with my block. I told him to give it back and he shrugged and said he brought it from school. Yeah, BS. I went and complained to my mother who just shrugged and said to get over it and get a new one. 
Now, I know it's not that big of a deal, but he went into my room and then had the audacity to lie to me. I recently got another block while my brother gave me his stupid, smug little grin. That afternoon, he wanted to go hang out with his friends. So my first plan of action? Getting my block back. Oh, I got it all right. Along with every other block and his charging cord in the entire house, I put that in one of my boots and shoved it into the back of my closet. Then I plugged in my phone in an outlet that couldn't be seen in plain view. He gets home, phone almost dead, frantically looking for block. Tell him I don't know what he's talking about and maybe he should go buy a new one. His phone dies and my mom tells me he can buy a new one tomorrow. That night it floods, bad. Can't leave the house. He is stuck with a dead phone for four days. Don't take my block. <laughs> okay, I guess you know these are the daily uh, fights between brothers. I guess, I mean, and I'm assuming that these brothers are, you know, relatively young. I guess. Okay, yeah. So college and in high school. So um, yeah, it is sibling pettiness. Okay. So hope you guys enjoyed these stories. If you like them, please uh, look at the links to each of them below in the description. And please feel free to subscribe and to like the channel. Thank you so much. I am the Internet Storyteller. Thanks. Bye.